Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Call to Arms Mods, where we are today back with the War of the Worlds mod. In the previous video, we of course took on the tripods as the German army, and as I said before, in Call to Arms, there are more nations that have armies at their disposal, so I wanted to see how their armies stack up against tripods as well. Today, we are taking a look at the United Arab Forces uh, units. And you can see them over here. Uh, some pretty cool looking infantry units with some uh, unique weapons here. Uh, but it's not actually the infantry that will be uh, the most interesting in this battle. It's the tanks, in my opinion. So there's a whole lot of tanks they have at their disposal, more modern units as well. But to my surprise, also some pretty ancient ones, like the T-62. And I thought it would be cool to see how the tripods stack up against tanks that are a little bit older. You know, is there much difference in call to arms with their power or their their own armor? Uh, so that's actually what we're going to look uh, for today. Since they have so many different armor units, in the future we might do more uh, videos with the United Arab Forces and take a look at some of the other tanks as well. Like these are T-62s, I think they also have 72s, 80s, uh, all the way up to like 90 I think. So there's a lot of variety there alone. And we have a massive map here. Uh, as always, we will begin this battle with just one tripod. There's actually qu they're actually quite far from the tripod alone. Uh, we'll see how that works out. But if we are able to win, which I assume we do, though again we have pretty old tanks at our disposal, we will switch to two uh, tripods and see how they fare as well. All right, and here we are now at the side of the tarmac. All units are heading forward. <laughs> the tank just goes right through the plane, showcasing the destructible environment. I guess this guy didn't like uh, the new Top Gun movie. And there we have the silhouette of the tripod. Tanks are taking it under fire as well. It's a good sign. Tripod is fighting back. Mostly against infantry, it seems. The really good thing about this map is how wide it is. Is that I don't have to clutter up all of the uh, units. Which means we can have a battle with a lot of, uh, a lot of infantry, a lot of AI units. Without it being too laggy. Oh, it's destroying the environment here. It wants our butts, but we're not giving our butts to the Martians. One thing that also would be cool... Oh my god, that is gory. That would be cool is to see if... Um, I've done, of course, the Halo mod in the previous video. And to see how, for example, the tripods stack up against that. Though I don't know if we can combine the mods. With Man of War, it was very, very difficult to combine mods. Often they had very conflicting um, uh, files if you uh, combine mods, and that will automatically make the game crash. So I won't promise anything, but I'll take a look if it's possible. That way we can have sort of a Clash of the World situation with Call to Arms, which I think is cool. I know that there's a small group that wants more Clash of the Worlds. And again, I'm taking a little bit of a break from story content at the moment. But, doing Let's Play content is absolutely possible. So, it would be cool to have uh, different movie or game universes take it on in this game as well. You can actually see that this tank is in a pretty good angle. It's probably safe. Machine gunner still alive. Taken under fire. Infantry taken under fire. I assume that it won't take too long for this thing to go down. Again, more tanks in position. Racing their turrets. Taking this invader under fire. Oh. Gotta get out of the way of the tank. Don't want to be squished.
And you can actually now see how many tanks there are actually in position. It might actually be... I'm surprised the thing is still standing and even its shield is still up. That might have to do with the tanks being weaker. I don't know. I don't know what the attributes are of the tanks. Here you can actually see it's letting out its uh, red gas for the units that are underneath it. All the tanks are perfectly lined up. One shot of that big attack, they're all gone. No, but still shields up. Look at that. Very, very interesting. Now, the original War of the World... Oh. War of the Worlds story was, of course, also, like, uh... Quite old. With very primitive, uh... Primitive warfare. In terms of, like, armor and stuff. Oh my god, that guy's on fire. This is exactly what I was talking about. So, like, one attack, and... Is this thing still... Oh, it's still operational. That's surprising. Man, its shield is still up. I don't know what this guy is doing. So this is actually very, very interesting in the sense that we have, in terms of numbers, when it comes to the armor, we have enough to do with the tank, but it seems our firepower simply is not enough to really take it down, not enough to even take down the shields. So, uh, for the first time in a long time, we're actually not going to add another tripod in the second battle, but instead only just tanks, because we need to see and we need to know how many armor units and how many units in general the United Arab Forces have to actually take out a tripod. Apparently they need more. Then again, I did handicap them a little bit by giving them like the oldest tanks that there are currently in the game. Let's uh, do this again and I'll take control of some of the tanks as well to see if we can take it down. Alright, here we are now taking control of one of the T-62s. We're more at the rear. I really like this overpass that we're doing here. It's really cool seeing all the armor units advance. There's quite a bit of cover that we can utilize. Trying to see... There it is. Let's get one pop shot in. And move back a little bit. Because I don't want that to happen to me. Jeez. Let's do another shot. I might actually go around. There we go. This is a good angle. I say that, those beams are very close to where I am. To the right, you can actually see how many tanks are still like are operational and firing at it. It's really surprising to me, like how we're just hammering on the tripod and not getting through its shields. I think this is a great showcase that you know when you play games like this, sometimes you have the idea that you know, depending on what faction or country you play, that most of the units are kind of the same. I think this video showcases well that that's not the case. Obviously, were I to use more modern uh, units, and after this, 
uh, we only have one country left that is in the game, which are the Russians. And the Russians have some older tanks available as well. Uh, but I believe... What did I, even, I think I gave them T-72s or T-80s. I'm not entirely sure. But in all honesty, I'm kind of flabbergasted. I'm very surprised how weak the tanks are that we're fighting with. Like in any other video we didn't before we done before, you know, if there were this many tanks firing and still operational, the tripod would have gone down. Like look how many there are. All of them firing. All lined up. Let's actually also line up here. It's like an artillery barrage. You can just see how much, like, so many of the blue splashes on its shield, how much fire it's actually taking. And nothing. It's just taking it. In that sense, it's actually very good. Like I said before, I do want to do another video with the United Arab Forces and give them other tanks. And uh, I think that is well justified because I feel that they deserve a rematch because they are heavily outmatched by just a single tripod with this uh, primitive tech. Oh my god. I will say this. I am a bit surprised with how long it's taking the, um, the tripod to take out all the tanks. I feel like... In previous videos, the tripod was more aggressive or something. I'm not entirely sure. So many are still alive. It might just also be because it's a very wide battlefield. But yeah, man, it's 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 still standing. And we have six tanks left. just a shield all right here's what we're going to do we're always doing three battles the last battle will is always be a night battle um, and uh, well they still have not beaten a single tripod so we're not going to add a second one what we're going to do is we're going to add more tanks and a lot more this time last time I added four more tanks this time we're doing a lot more uh, I hope it won't be too laggy but we'll uh, we'll see how much it actually takes to uh, take down this behemoth Okay, so it's now night, as you can see. The units are already making the crossing on the tarmac. There goes that plane of that one tank that doesn't give a damn. The, the anti-top gun lover. Oh, he's even taking a part of the wing with him. Look at that. He's taking a souvenir. <laughs> All right, so I added a whole bunch of tanks to the battle. Like I said, hopefully it won't be too laggy. Again, the good thing is that I can spread them out a little bit. Visibility during night is a little less, so we actually have to get closer to get a good look. But there we get our first hit in. Let's get a bit closer. Trying not to kill any of our units. I can actually fire again. Also added a few more infantry. They're not doing a whole lot. They actually seem to dive way faster than in any of the other battles. Almost done reloading. There we go. Another shot. Taking out our fire with the machine gun. You can really just see how we're pouring down on it. Oh my god. That guy got decapitated. Yeah, the infantry are taking the, the biggest loss by far. 
in a sense, even though there are many assets and many buildings, there's also a lot of open space, making it really deadly for infantry play. Again, many of them are not actually in firing distance. They have to cross this road as well, and then they'll be able to, uh, to engage. Oh, okay, actually, the AI is now able to fire. So that's a good thing. I'll leave the firing there today. I ooh that red light blooming on our position, marking our possible death. It's using the red gas for the units that are actually underneath it. More tanks coming together over here. I can fire again. Honestly, so surprising how we're just not able to do anything. We're not able to crank out a shield. This guy's using me as cover. It's fine. Like nothing. Like look how many tanks we have here. There's still more incoming. Oh, we even got, actually got some units that never uh, took part in the battle. Oh, including some tanks. Look at that. Come on. Oh my god! What is this? Well, now I understand why they're not able to uh, uh, go down because these tank drivers are incompetent. What is going on here? I feel like they're all having like a pizza party. What is happening? Oh dear. Still, are we still on? That was a huge lag spike. I'll just have them go over here, I guess. But yeah, now this is now an actual, actual, actual like cluster, uh, cluster fuck over here. This is not going anywhere. A lot of them have taken damage from the gas, getting stomped on. Yep, no. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know how or what made them go over there. It could also be a glitch. Sometimes the uh, tripod teleports, but it seemed all of them were grouped up. So um, again, I don't know what happened. What made I do that? But uh, that was not good. And to my surprise, we actually have today a video where uh, the humans completely lost. But absolutely, the United Arab Forces were not able to even dent a single tripod with the tanks that they have so in future videos we also know that we gotta stay clear of these tanks if we want to take on uh, the Martian invaders anyway guys that was it for today's video if you know any cool uh, scenarios or suggestions that we can do with this mod let me know in the comments down below as always thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time